Welcome to the Meowsic Hall. For the International Cat Festival, I would go as far as Livingston or, you know, I don't know, Lewiston or Auburn. The internet is the cat world. Cats are the sweetest part of ourselves. They know why they're here. They know their purpose. It's not just a relationship with an animal. It goes far beyond that. They showed us about how to live. Silly. Spiritual. Harry. Fluid. I think cats are the boss. I realized that I could help animals when they were dying, that I could help them to leave more easily. The first day I came here, I walked up to a wood pile, and there were two. There were two little babies that I was too late. I'm pretty well known in the area for being the lady who helps the local cats. There are about as many feral cats in the U.S. as there are pet cats, so that would put them anywhere from 70 to 90 million. Animal control officials estimate there are more than a quarter million stray or feral cats roaming the county. Cats gone wild. We found him in very bad condition. I have to express urine out of him and stuff like this, but that you probably don't want on a movie. There is no magic barn that will take all of the unwanted cats. Some pet lovers are fighting against a proposal that they fear will starve stray cats. We will be arrested if we come here to feed the cats. There are new developments today regarding the feral cats poisoned in Ithaca's college town. This is a cat that has ingested antifreeze that was put out maliciously. Many people just see many forms of animal life as disposable. And when you have animal control officers and trappers who feel that it's okay to euthanize everything, well then they're going to listen to politicians and the people in local government and they're going to say it's okay. A cat fight breaks out between Seaside Heights Borough officials and animal activists. This after the mayor and council unanimously voted to dissolve a group that cared for its feral cats. They ended this program without any kind of a plan in place to take care of these cats. The mayor will be the guy who killed the cats in Seaside Heights. After we learned what was happening at Seaside, I just stepped up to try to help them. My heart like, has always been with the ferals because they, you know, they have it the worst. Right now, we have about 28 cats. They make me a better person. There's no doubt about it. Cats get euthanized more than dogs in shelters. If I could keep one more cat from getting euthanized, I could keep one more cat off the street. Why, why wouldn't I do that? It's epidemic. That's the one word that I use to describe it because in every single community that I have been in, it's not what, five, it's not 10, it's not 15. It's, it's over a hundred. I just feel that if I can be that one of those people that just contributes to their life being better in some way, then, then that's how I'm measuring success in this lifetime. As we're going ab about our daily lives, um, I began to notice so many animals in distress and, and you want to help them and that's how the, um, the, the rescue Operate, rescue operations. It's not such a big operation. That's how the res rescue idea uh, came about. People occasionally ask me, well, where do you find these cats? And I say, well, I don't find them. They find me. I mean, they're just there. You just have to see them. Uh, and most people don't see them. I think a documentary is an excellent vehicle to educate people who might not have exposure to those cats who very much need us to stand up for them and put policies in place that protect their lives.